Hello, Elvena players. Hello. <laughs> so it's Rike and Timon again yeah. from the Elvena team. And today's topic is uh, the current summer event. Exactly. The March of the Hurts. Uh -huh. So um, I hope you will have plenty of questions to ask Rike. Uh, why <laughs> and, me? <laughs> yeah, I might also answer one or two of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. Please send in your question about <laughs> the event, or if, if you have another question about Elvena, please, then you can also send yeah. this. Uh, we try to answer as many of them as honest as we can. Yeah. Um, yeah, much of the herd. It started three days ago, already running, already playing it. I hope you enjoy it so far. Uh, did you already open the first grand prize? What? No, right now. Okay, I I'm sl I'm a slacker, so no, not yet. Do, did you? No, no, no. It okay. would be really difficult so so fast. I mean, the the event is running for a few weeks now until yeah. uh, beginning of August. So you have some more time to open those big uh, rewards. Um, I really like that this time we like we increased the the, the scope of the the story of Elvena. Like we added so many new animals, fantasy creatures. You know. So we, we finally have, I don't know, the, the, the whole Elvena world takes more shape now with an yeah. event like this. I, I really like it. Yeah. Um, also, I was so waiting for cute animals. I, <laughs> uh, actually, uh, it's been produced on the art side uh, since the, s the start of the year. Art side uh, started to lose on that. So uh, I had plenty of time to uh, look forward to see those buildings and games. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, it's it's cool. I mean, yeah. I also I, I mean I did not open the first big box, no, but yeah. uh, I already won some of the buildings and Me too. It's 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 really cute how things are coming together. Yeah. And you also see with every new event it's like we are having more and more guest races to draw ideas from, no? Yeah. I mean this time uh, the event quest giver is a wood elf. And she talks about stuff about the halflings and uh, mm -hmm. and about the fairies and so on. It's it's really nice how this world yeah. more and more comes together. No? And um, yeah. at the beginning it was all like there are only humans and there are some elves and okay in the forest you could meet some orcs, but that was all about it. And now yeah. this world unfolds more and more. I really, really like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, just go on talking, and I see if I see <laughs> some questions. If you have some questions, feel free to ask us. Feel free to ask. We also prepared some. Oh, yeah. We, we we looked for some questions in the forums. We, we prepared our own questions. No. Yeah, the <laughs> community managers so, were so nice. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. There are some questions. Uh, um, this time we uh, have um, Mathieu with us again, so he will provide us with some questions if we. Uh, yeah, we sometimes miss some questions you have on Facebook, so um, he helps out, uh, us out a bit. So, hi, yeah. Mathieu. Hi, Mathieu. <laughs> He's sitting there, but you are not allowed yeah. to see him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yes. Uh, one question is, any plans of adding mana buildings to events in the future? Mana buildings, yes. I mean, as you have uh, noticed uh, since the last event already, uh, we started to introduce uh, buildings that do not only give culture and population. No? We had some producing orcs or coins and supplies, and we are trying a lot of things there. And also with mana, we will also add some buildings that produce mana. Not in the summer event yet. We didn't manage to finish this uh, in time, but from the next event on, you can expect this to happen, definitely. No. And uh, maybe another one from the forums and the community managers. Um, event quests are boringly repetitive. Are there any plans to add more variety in the future? Um, also, of course, yes, we will work on this. I mean, when we made the first quests, um, the first quest line of the first events, um, you notice that there was even less variety in it and we we're working on increasing them over time more and more like the new quest uh, types we have now uh, are something like um, you can invest resources instantly to to get to the next quest and stuff like this will come more and more in the next events yeah so we know there's not too much variety yet and also we had some other problems to fix with the quest actually as you remember like uh, collect so and so many coins 
So everyone had to collect like 1000 coins and for beginning players it was a lot and for everyone else it was way too cheap. Stuff like this, we are fixing those problems one by one and uh, adding variety to it is also one of the things we are looking to. Yeah. Yeah. There's someone, uh, Foster Santika is very nice. Um, uh, she wrote that <laughs> she likes my haircut and our smile. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I always, I actually um, um, read that several times, but thought, oh, okay, it's very important to react to questions and yeah, but this time, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, so more questions. Ah, look, they, they are asking, um, who is it? Uh, can you? Oh, yeah. did you see it? Greg Armstrong asks, hi Greg. Hello. Uh, will it ever be possible to have an expansion as a price? So many nice buildings and not enough space. Oh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would agree, but it's unfortunately not possible. Don't yeah. expect this to happen. The thing is, um, the map has a certain size, mm -hmm. so we can only have so and so many map expansions. And um, yeah. or you would have to increase the map size, yeah. but this is technically like it's not only difficult to do that; it's also um, hard to for, for some low-end devices yeah, to display. Yeah, exactly. That, right? it already, some of our players have problems because the the amount of assets they have in their map are so many, and we we don't want to have a game where some people can't play it because yeah. of the performance. That so, so in short. The first thing we would have to do to introduce this as a reward would be to slow down the game, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would inc have to increase the map, which would slow down the game, and then some people would win some expansions. And it would also be complicated because at one point you cannot win expansions anymore. It would have to be limited, and then at the end you would be at the same position that you are now. So you will still have to sort out which buildings to keep and which ones to build. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, oh. Michael just says hello. Hello, Michael. <laughs> That's easy. Uh, ah. <laughs> Kovacs Adam, hello. He asked, um, or or she, I'm mm. not sure. Uh, could you uh, you remake the old profile pictures? The thing is. I considered this several times, but that always means um, extra time for assets we already have. And I doubt that I will ever be in the position that I think, oh, there's nothing to do. I will redo those assets. Um, maybe instead more profile pictures. Maybe that yeah, is always also a, a nice bit thing. more interesting to add new stuff yeah. than to rebuild the old one. Exactly, you know? exactly. But um, I, I mean, uh, it, I think this uh, this results out of that we have um, that we don't have so soon so many variants for profile pictures. So maybe a better approach would be to see if we can have more profile pictures before the guest races. But um, yeah. We have to look into this. I mean, actually, total, we have a wide selection of, of we do have, pictures now. But no? they it's, they're in there for years now. I guess you get you get I a don't bit know. every time you it. build a new ancient wonder or most of them. Oh, that's all, right. You get a new Super avatar picture, and uh, I like this actually. And then four new avatars with every guest race. It's also yeah. cool. I mean, but as you said, in, um, in the first few chapters. There is just uh, limited content from the start, yeah, and yeah. maybe we can add something there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. let's yeah. see. Let's see what time. we can do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um... hi, Jens. <laughs> I just say hi when I see someone is just greeting. <laughs> so searching again for a nice comment, which we have plenty. We could also, oh, pick also one my, more Matt from has the... some. Ah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Why not take just the first one? Uh, you can just read it. <laughs> <laughs> so, someone in the forums has asked, isn't it possible to put a counter which guarantees to win the daily prize after X tries? Uh, yeah. This is, a, I would say, a, a common suggestion. For, um, you know, we have a quite simple system now in place. Now we just say, you will win this prize with a, a probability of 20%. For instance, mm -hmm. uh, it's very clear, and you know you have to click and 
if you win your uh, with the first click it was lucky draw and if, if you don't win with six or seven clicks you know it is possible and no one's cheating you and so on we like the simplicity of this solution we could come up with something more complex that would say like every time you click and you don't get the price you want the uh, probability rises but it would create a very intransparent system mm. and um this is something we want to keep it simple. But of course, the downside of the simple system is we will only uh, we will always have people who had the bad luck and, and click twenty times and never won. Yeah. yeah, this can unfortunately happen. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I think I had that once when I I really wanted to have this building and I clicked and clicked and clicked and clicked and I even got some some currency with diamonds to get this building and I. Didn't Which manage. all of you should do. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's go on with questions. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, Lily Misha Kulcha asks, "Will we have a friend list one day?" Yeah, it's a very good question. I actually I would like to have this. Yeah. For me, I always see the fellowships. Um, could be more of a place where people of the same goals or the same point in the game, like with the same progress, mm. could gather. Mm. While the friends could be people that you just know from the real world, right? Your friends are playing the game maybe as well, mm. or people that you just happen to trade with a lot because they are your neighbors or whatever. Mm. Um, so friend, friend lists are always a bit different from from fellowships no? mm. uh, so I see how it would make sense to have French uh, friend yeah. lists in the game still but, it's a big feature and yeah. of course we would do a bit more than just adding a list where everyone mm -hmm. is shown up um, so, so it's a, a big thing and a yet to be developed feature I would say so yeah something so nothing that's coming for the soon future, maybe. But, yeah but yeah Let's see. I mean, um, I think I also said this in one of the last Q and A's that if you keep asking for it, <laughs> it might move up in our to-do list. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> shall we? Shall we take the last one? This is the, a beautiful the question. The CPD da question. Uh, yeah, you can take ah, that. No, the last one. The last one. <laughs> ah, you I can, love that you one. Can, you can answer this. So, <laughs> Diana Villegas asks, how do you come up with the concepts for the events? So, first of all, I, I, I have to say, um, I have to say that I am not part of the concept team, but I work closely with them. Um, now that I mentioned them, hi guys, when you, <laughs> when you see that, feel greeted. So, um, the first approach is that our game designer comes and uh, introduces a topic, um, which is most, most of the time it's very rough to give them some freedom. And then they sit together and um, they talk what they, they imagine of it, have some brainstorming, do a bunch of, um, of uh, resource gatherings. So they have some references and can choose from a big pool of uh, artworks. And then they uh, commit to one theme that is usually very rounded and they imagine some nice um, nice stories about it and then they start with a production. So, so yeah. basically they are looking into different ideas, into different yeah, directions. Yeah. Always. And when they see, oh, this direction that sparkles the best ideas, the most yeah. creative things, then they say, okay, this should be the way we're going. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, and they, they always make beautiful artworks on the way to this. So. It's yeah. always fun to uh, to visit them in their room. Yeah, the arcade. Um, yeah. Actually, here, Sibiti Dukta asked, can you make it so I can move buildings the way we can move buildings in Forge of Empires? So for those who do not know how it works there, you can pick one building up and then go to another building. So when you move, no? you, you go to the move mode and then you click on a building, then it's on your cursor as in Elvena. Then you go to another building and you click again and then the building on the cursor exchanges directly with the building uh, on the ground. So you have like one, one spot where you can store one building, which is your cursor. And you don't have this in Elvena where you always need to find a place where you can put a building before the place where the building was is really free. Um, we are thinking about this sometimes and we are looking into how it 
is technically dual, doable because our code is a bit different than the one of Forge. Yeah, obviously, it's, uh, they're a different game. Um, we cannot say for sure if it will happen or not. We are open for this, actually, as I say quite often, right? Um, but discussion is uh, is ongoing about this. We know about this feature and we know that some players want to have it and uh, we are considering it, but it's all I can say about it, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, there are several requests um, for a topic um, regarding the event. This is, um, why was it not considered that small players can't produce, uh, produce magical goods? Well, actually, in a way, it was considered. We, we, we do demand those magical goods from early players as well, but in very small amounts. Mm -hmm. um, and we, so our idea was these are amounts small enough that they can just trade these goods. Um, but we, um, the reception we had so far is that many players struggle to, to do these trades. Uh, we will keep an eye on this. And if it does not work out as we imagined it, and players are stuck with these quests, then of course we will not repeat this again. So for now, our idea is that there are small amounts you should be able to get them. Um, and if if we see that many players don't get it, then we will not do this again. I promise. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cheryl uh, Krajewski um, asked, am I seeing uh, shadows of extinct animals uh, in the loading screen? No, you're not. They're not, they're not extinct. They, they, they live. Uh, for example, in the buildings you can win. They're not extinct. And they're just... I mean, to be fair, <laughs> that, uh, the story of Elvna is how almost all races you're got right. extinct. Yeah? You're right. So in this context, <laughs> It doesn't sound too creepy. Um, maybe some of those animals were close to extinction. Uh, and thanks <laughs> to this e uh, glorious event, some of them come back to the lands. Mm -hmm. yeah? Um, yeah, but as, as she said, they are not meant to be extinct. <laughs> Um, um, Marion Connors writes, this event is very good, but the grand prizes don't give enough. We need to win land and population most and adding culture to these events would be nice. Also being able to take buildings off. Yes, back to storage and this would remove the pop and Ooh. this is long. Long question. And this goes culture into the time to answering. this building and maybe a small cost for this transaction and being able to replace this building at the more. Okay, let's try to answer the first part of the question because yeah. it's super long. That's cool. But uh, the the first part is also something um, the um, in the forum uh, many people in the forum were asking. So it's about um, the grand prizes and their their values and that it might. It seems to feel like some of the players that it's not as valuable as um, the prices before. Maybe I can show. show yeah, no, no. Okay. I, I got the question. I also saw it. Yeah. Um, so I mean, if you compare to the winter event, we have uh, to to say that in the winter event we found out that afterwards it was one of our first events yeah. after all that some buildings were a bit overpowered yeah. uh, which resulted in that the players were less excited uh, about new buildings in the next events yeah. and also like they did they they won new buildings but they didn't want to place it anymore yeah. because everything was already full and they had enough culture mm -hmm. and this is not what we want yeah. what we actually do want is that we spread the or that we have more different rewards to select from. No? Yeah, in the no first right. events, all you could win was basically more culture and more population. And if you had enough culture and population, which you had quite soon after participating in such an event, it became less interesting to win buildings. So what we are doing now is we introduce buildings that produce coins or supplies or orcs or troops. In the future, also mana and other resources that might be added to that list. Um, in addition to still having buildings that give culture and population and so on. Mm -hmm. So players can have, can win many different buildings. Um, you can win many different buildings and everything, every building has a different effect for you and, and you can, you have more use for the prices. So actually we do not want to uh, reduce um, the, the reward. We want to spread it a bit more and give more variety to it. You know? But yeah, the, the winter event buildings were particularly strong 
and uh, in the subsequent uh, um, bit, um, events, we lowered the, the values a bit. But there are no plans to lower the values further or something like this. No, or make it unattractive for you. No, but definitely not. Not in our yeah. uh, interest. But, Absolutely but, not. But I guess you can agree if you win the 100,000 building that gives 10,000 culture, it doesn't give you anything else anymore. You don't mm -hmm. need two buildings and they have all the culture you ever want. That's also not fun. That's yeah. very for a short time. It's fun when you win it and just and you and just do, you you build the first building and then suddenly your culture is is way up yeah. in the sky. That is a nice moment, but you will soon notice that then winning more buildings and participating in more events is not that cool anymore. And we don't want to avoid this. We want you to have a lot of fun and um, uh, with all the events we are coming up with. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Laura Bar uh, Barili um, asks, is there a reward system in your pockets for those players that play every day in Almanar? Ah, mm, like daily, some, like, daily like, like daily bonus, bonus, something like something that. Like this. No. We, we have some concepts for that in yeah. mind, no? for sure. Uh, obviously nothing yet to present. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, we do think about how we can like reward players for yeah. for, for staying activity. with us yeah. every day and playing repeatedly and so on um, we are thinking about this but we, we cannot show something today no. but it's a cool idea yes and that is why we also think about it yeah yeah um, another one comes from um, Jean Lay um, it would be nice when you're helping fellowship if screen returns to the fellowship page of the player you helped. I think we actually talked uh, in the last weeks we talked about this that if you if you're uh, on several uh, pages now in our game and you decide to help someone and come back it always starts at page one instead of this page you were in. We know we just have to work on this so it um, it get it gets fixed. But uh, I mean, Jean, this Jean, is... Jean just points out one yeah. of the problems we we have with gameplay that is a bit repetitive and not too fun to do so often. So we are also thinking in broader terms about this topic. Yeah, of absolutely. course, we can improve small things like yeah. if I open this list again, I should be on the same page mm -hmm. as I've been before, so I can follow up uh, and do the next step uh, immediately. Yeah. But we are also thinking in broader terms about it, how we can generally improve it, uh, how easy it is to have a lot of people without it getting pesky, you know. Mm. Um, there's one thing we not yet talked about in the new summer event, which is a new functionality, uh, the, um, the temporary buildings. Yes. Maybe we can say some words about those. Yeah, so uh, maybe we touched this a bit before when I said uh, there's no use in having really very very strong buildings and after you have uh, uh, gotten to you don't need any more of them but there's one way how very strong buildings can still be a good reward if you uh, if you say you have this strong building but it's only there for a certain amount of time so or put it the other way around you we can reward players with a very big benefit without hurting the system too much mm -hmm. when we say okay you have this benefit but it's a bit like the spells uh, that it only uh, is there for a limited amount of time, for the time you need it, you know? Yeah. For instance, you, you might now want to have a few fights for the next tournament, for instance. Then we have a building for you now in this event that lets you fight, for instance, with the mages or um, have that they have more strength mm -hmm. or all units have more health and stuff. These yeah. are the buildings we introduce now uh, that will help you for a certain amount of time that you can play quite a lot of Elena very successfully. And then the buildings are also gone again, and you get the uh, the, the space back that they took. Mm -hmm. no? So these buildings are rather small. You can uh, you can build a lot of them next to each other, and you have a really powerful effect from them. Yeah. And then use it, use it as long as they last. Um, use them, and then you can get rid of them anyway. 
yeah. and have space for other buildings then again. And the timer starts when you place the building, not mm -hmm. when it's in your inventory. That would be super unfair if you just yeah. want it and don't want so to place it. You decide yet. when to reduce it. So them. exactly, exactly. Yeah. And when you know I will be super active the next week or so. Yeah, or you see your guild is close to open the next treasure in the yeah. tournament, ne? and you need one more round, and you know, oh, it's a yeah. difficult round uh, to to fight. Then you can use those fighting boosting buildings and manage to to uh, to get the required points and open the chest for the guild. Oh. That's cool. Uh, Brian K. McNulty uh, asked, where are you from? Yeah. You talk funny. <laughs> yes, we are Germans. Of course, our English is funny. <laughs> Yes, um, we have uh, we have um, several other um, nationalities in our um, in our company, but uh, we are both from Germany. So, if you really want to 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 hear funny English from Germans, you have to listen to CEOs from big German companies. Against them, my English sounds native. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think we have a beta player um, around us because um, uh, Bruno Ribeiro uh, says, hello. hello, hello, can you talk a bit about the instance, please? Will, be, uh, will we be able to reduce the production time of a guest race production with them? So he drops a bomb. <laughs> yes. I oh, you it, did. I, I, I think um, today... Actually, um, Mathieu that, did. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we are introducing kind of like items to the game we but in our game we have a fantasy city builder and only beta players see this yet so in our game we, we don't call them items that's boring so we say these are spells mm -hmm. you have heard about spells before because there are spells already in the game but these spells are just one type of spells and now we have created a new type of spells and to not confuse you too much the spells you're producing in the academy we will from now on call enchantments because they enchant your buildings for mm -hmm. a limited time. And the new items we invent, the new spell type, we call instance. Mm -hmm. So Bruno, as a beta player, has already used some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's how it works. They are stored in your spell inventory, like next to the enchantments, and you can do lots of stuff with it. There are some uh, in, uh, instance that refill your coin storage or your supply storage. And there are also ones that reduce time and you can reduce time almost everywhere in the game i think even everywhere in the game so you can reduce the time and upgrade of a building oh. takes you can reduce production times and to answer his question yeah you can reduce production times of guest race productions yeah. as well and you can also reduce scouting times you yeah. can reduce the waiting times between tournament rounds yeah and yeah uh, this is what the instance is about. Waiting times for spells, waiting times for units. It's actually, like yeah. Simon said, every waiting time there is you can reduce now with those spells. And actually, it um, there's some of the beta players that got the um, time reduction spells. And there were other play uh, beta players that got um, uh, the instant supplies and instant coin spell. So... Um, well, generally, the coins and supply instant spell is actually that you get instant supplies and coins. And Timon has the numbers for that because I, I'm not. Is it uh, regarding to your storage? How yeah, much yeah. you actually become? Yeah, I just, I yeah, just yeah. Uh, uh, I you, explained it already. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, you were reading questions. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the spell just says, I will refill, let's say, 10% of your storage. So if your storage can hold 1 million coins, you will get 100,000 coins with mm -hmm. this spell. And if you upgrade your main hall and the storage is now 1.2 million, mm -hmm. then it, the same sp uh, item will not refill 100,000 coins, but then 120,000 coins. Mm -hmm. So your items also improve when you upgrade your main hall. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. But of course, the time span is different. One minute is a minute and an yeah. hour is an hour, <laughs> no matter how far you are in the game. Yeah. And there are many different versions of these spells. So there are spells that reduce five minutes and there are spells that reduce two hours and so on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. No. Uh, Paula Sandlin, thank you and hello, because she says, Doch, your English is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's not, but we try our best. <laughs> we, we, we hear this criticism a lot. And it's okay. Yeah. At least you, you seem to understand us. 
hopefully. Do you? I mean, maybe. maybe. I, I, I hope so. Um, yeah. uh, so, uh, John Stanton says, uh, first of all, hello. Yeah. Hey. I spend a lot of time looking for the builder slot of others. Could you make it so that if you press B, you go to there? Or M for the main hall, or C for random or best available culture building? Yeah, so the shortcuts we have in our own city are not available in the other cities. Mm. That's a good idea, right? Yeah, it is. We, we would have to look into that a bit further because I, I always like to, to um, toggle problems that, that lay beyond. And the real problem is that you, when you want to do neighborly help, you have always to search for the best things players uh, players. Uh, first of all, the players wants if he wants uh, builder hut or main hall or culture building, and then you have to figure out which culture building is best or where all those buildings are. And I think even better than just shortcuts would be a solution where you didn't have to search. So, but you're not the only ones that. Mysterious. Okay. That, 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 that are not annoyed by this. And <laughs> it, actually, this is a topic that comes so, there in our UI office on and on and on. <laughs> and it, we hope that we once will have a good solution for that that yeah. solves a lot of annoying topics. But I think the core point, what you state, is also we could, of course, as we did in our own uh, game, uh, in our own city, add shortcuts yeah. in other city. But most players don't know about the shortcuts. Oh, that's also and right. And most players will then also not use your solution. And um, that is why we will first maybe solve the, the core of the problem, as, as we just stated. And this shortcut is just an additional way uh, we could introduce later on or something. But as, as you said, no? first mission is that you do not have to search for things like this. Oh. Oh, um, Pamela uh, Schiele, hey, uh, writes, yes, I'm... Un mot en ah, français. What? What? That's Sylvie Rollin? I don't know how to okay. pronounce it. Okay, uh, Mathieu. Huh? Uh, I'm Bonsoir. Impressed, yeah, I'm impressed that you don't wear a lot of makeup, Rika. <laughs> that, my head's off to you. You look very nice. I'm I also fashion, don't so... wear a lot of makeup. Yeah, yeah, look at him. <laughs> Not sure about the hair, but my granddaughter likes it. Uh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh, how old are you, Pamela? That um, I'm wondering. Uh, but um, yeah, you know, we. I consider myself to be a gamer, and also um, Timon doesn't wear any makeup. So yeah, we just let's just not care about those conventions and stuff, and be us and. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so some someone asked us to speak French. Okay. We will practice uh, the next you, time. You, you, you I said bonsoir. Oh, mon dieu. That's not really much. <laughs> but wait, maybe we can. Ah, wait, wait. <laughs> je m'appelle Timon. Je 35 ans. Uh, et nous avons seulement ou, uh, un ou deux questions. Um, <laughs> okay, for, for all that don't for understand, is, <laughs> that, that all. don't understand it, for, uh, French, <laughs> we just have one or two questions left and then we unfortunately have to say goodbye for this evening. The real shame is how long I had French at school. <laughs> I will, I will, uh, I will t tell you how long I had French at school in the next Q&A, so tune in again. Uh, Patrick Sar, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does he ask? He he says, please say something about building storage, even if you uh, just say this will never happen. Let's say it, it will never, never happen. happen. <laughs> okay, that's not maybe maybe you know we will maybe. You 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 can't raise hopes for this. It's it's really it's, you know I could win in the lottery. No. <laughs> uh, if it ever happens, it will be in an unexpected way. Sorry, I also wanted to sound a bit mysterious. Okay, yeah, you did. You did well. Okay. Um, 
Uh, Sarah Koivuniemi um, asked, uh, could you make it possible to move in a city with arrow keys? She's Never talking about, about shortcuts again. Yeah. So my shortcut answer is most players don't know about and use shortcuts. So we could edit, but she's pointing towards having something that is not so much fun to do currently in a shorter way. If we do something to improve this flow to go from one city to another, we would mostly target for a solution that is easy to use for everyone and easy to see for everyone, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So maybe we will do this, but not as the first uh, method of approaching it. Yeah. No. I know we, we are not allowed to do this question, but Laura La, uh, Manso um, asked, when Elvener go on phone? Yeah, as you know, uh, we have a mobile version. And if you are happy enough to live in Great Britain, yeah, you can play uh, it. You can play it already. And, and the obvious question is then, yeah, OK. And when, you know, just in case I don't want to move now to Great Britain, uh, <laughs> how long do I have to wait until I can play the mobile version? We can I, tell yet. I, I, no? I'm afraid there is not no date yet, but no there, official date I, yet I, to announce. I, I, I'm not allowed to say coming course, soon because you hate coming soon, so I won't say a it. A small piece of paper lying just below the visible area here where all the dates are already listed, but we are not allowed to share them with you. Yeah, and we really soon. Have... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think we, we, um, we had the two questions, I'm afraid. So. Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So thank you for your attention. Yeah, uh, and thank you, Mathieu, for um, yeah. re uh, regarding, uh, giving us the question stuff. And thank you for asking all those questions. Yeah, stay tuned. Watch the next Elvena episode. Yes. And oh. also keep your eyes open for the next Facebook Q&A. Wait, the next Elvena um, video. video is not with us, right? <gasps> it could happen, but still watch it. Then, yes. then you will also see this game designer she mentioned before mm -hmm. when she was talking about who is getting the idea for events. Yeah, because Maybe there's this someone red next bearded to... guy yeah. that you can see in the next episode. Maybe. Maybe I'm just making this up. Uh -huh. Okay, we have okay. to finish, sorry. Um, <laughs> Until next time. Until next time. Keep, keep on, on playing. playing.